Hey guys, it's Becky Bamboo. Today is Saturday, February 12th, 2011. And I thought I would come and do an update for you guys. Um, I've been away for a while this week. It's been kind of odd to not do videos as much as I had been doing them. So I wanted to touch base and talk about what's been going on in my life and um, how things are going. So uh, the last time I talked to you guys was on... Um, Tuesday and I told you that I was going to be leaving and going to my mom and dad's to help my mom with some, some stuff and to kind of earn some extra money and so that's where I spent uh, Wednesday through Friday um, things went pretty well up there um, we got a lot accomplished hey go on <laughs> stupid cats um, got a lot accomplished made some money helped mama um, and then mom and I got to enjoy some good old mom daughter time um, throughout the week and it's nice um, as much as I love spending time with everybody I really really treasure the time that I have one-on-one -on -one with my mom she's like my best friend has been my whole life and um, so it's really special to get to spend you know just us time we don't get it a lot so uh, it means even more so anyway um, did that um, I did not work out while I was back home I had the opportunity to but um, Thursday my mom worked me pretty hard I did a lot of like really deep cleaning in her basement and um, I was up and down and yonder and I was just kind of whipped by the end of the day so I decided to uh, forego running but um, something kind of fun happened last night um, yesterday was Friday and uh, my mom came down to my house and spent the night with us um, because we both had haircuts today I just got my haircut so uh, anyway I told her like Tuesday or Wednesday or Wednesday or Thursday I said you know we could go to the gym on Friday when you're there and she was kinda like yeah I said they have what's called a new step machine which is like um, I don't know if those of you who don't know it's like a machine where you sit in kind of a chair with a back and a, the machine has foot pedals and you just push them in and out and then it has like arm things um, she used it quite a bit when she was in rehabilitation from having her double knee replacement and she found that she really liked it so I told her that um, the track where I walk or where I run has a new set machine just in the corner of the track. It it's, sits in front of these huge windows, like floor to ceiling windows, and you can watch people on the track. And So she said, yeah, that sounds good. Let's go. So we went to the gym Friday night, and I, it was so much fun to have mom at the gym with me. Um, it kind of gave her a glimpse into what I do when I'm there, and a glimpse into um, she'd never been to my gym, and so she she's kind of wanted to see what it's like there. Um, so it was just a lot of fun, and um, I, of course I did some of my Couch to 5K Friday night. I did week six, day two, um, the last of my interval runs. I'm so glad those are over. <laughs> um, so that was a 10 minute run, 5 minute walk, 10 minute run. And uh, I, I have to say, I think that she really like was impressed that I was doing as well as I was doing. Um, she did the new step machine for about 20 minutes and then she walked around the track some. And I was so proud of her. I just was really proud of her. Um, I wish she could find um, some place to go where she could get into that a little bit more. Um, I know she has no desire to be a gym rat or anything, and uh, it just it would do her good to to move more than she does. And um, so it just it was like such a treat to have her go and get to watch me run. And um, I think she kind of had a different appreciation for the hard work that I do. Um, you know, it's easy to talk about going to the gym and what all you do at the gym. And until somebody's with you and sees the sweat pouring off of you. There's like still that kind of like um, false thing where maybe you think they're not necessarily doing all that they are doing. So um, I was really tired Friday night. I started my jog and I was really tired. My legs were really tired from all the work I had done at her house on Thursday. Um, like I said, it was a lot of up and down and uh, I used a lot of muscles that I don't use apparently because I was somewhat sore. And um, so. I thought to myself, do I really want to keep doing this jog tonight, Friday night? And I thought, my mom's here. She's watching me. I'm going to show her what I'm made of. And that pushed me through that workout. I am not going to lie. She pushed me through that workout knowing that she was there, kept me going, I, I'm not going to stop this until it's done. I want this workout 
over. I can do this. And so that really helped me a lot. Um, some other fun things that happened over the weekend, uh, or over the week, I guess you could say, um, I've been looking for a new Speedo. I've been doing some online shopping, and um, you can find decent prices on Speedos all over eBay, uh, different places. And I did have no have had no clue what size to buy because um, I really, um, based on my measurements, I'm two different sizes in my top and my bottom. And so I thought, okay, well, I just I'm at a loss here. Um, According to my measurements on my bust, I would fit into would fit into an 18. So I thought, well, I'm going to try on an 18 just to see. Um, a couple of the sports stores in my hometown carry swimwear all year round, so I decided to go look. And one of them had the highest size they had was a 16. And so I wasn't going to try it on. And my mom's like, just go try it on. At least you'll know if it fits or if it doesn't fit. And I said, okay, you got a point. Let's just try it on. And it fits. It, I fit into a 16 swimsuit. Um, now you all know that swimwear has a lot of like give to it. So um, really realistically an 18 would fit really well. Um, but with that said, I think I'm going to order a 16 because I want it to be a little bit tight now so that I have some room to shrink into it. Um, I The last one I bought, my size 24, um, fit perfectly when I got it and you know I wore it for like two months and then I was too small for it so I want to get a little more wear out of this one and I think now that I'm starting to get into smaller sizes and stuff um, I should be able to wear it a little longer than I could in that bigger sizes so um, but I just stood in the dressing room like with this stupid look on my face thinking how not that long ago I couldn't squeeze myself into a size 26 swimsuit and I'm standing here in the dressing room in a size 16 that's ridiculous so um, big deal for me that was a huge deal so I decided when we got back to my hometown that um, we have a sports store and I know they carry Speedo swimwear and actually the cut of um, the Speedo I tried on back home was not the the kind of the cut that I wanted to be in the leg it had a little bit higher cut leg than what I wanted so I decided to go to the to the um, sports store here in my town and look at their swimsuits and I tried one on today and tried on a different leg cut and that fit a lot better so now I know exactly what I want to order um, but while I was there I've been eyeballing something at the sports store for a while now um, this is something that I have wanted to be able to wear for a really long time and it's gonna sound really silly probably but um, I just so happened to glance at the clearance rack and I saw the pair of pants I've been eyeballing and oogling over for months now um, on the clearance rack and they happened to be in the size that I thought that I would need and so I said to mom I said I'm just gonna try them on because I just want to know if I can even get into them yet because in my head it's been such a far off thing and what I'm talking about is women's athletic pants like Adidas track pants or basketball pants or whatever kind of however you call them I don't know what you call them but um, so I've always I've never owned a pair of women's athletic pants ever uh, well I mean I have some but they're kind of like plus size these are I'm talking like regular normal sized pants and um, those of you who have seen the Adidas pants, you know they come in like very cute colors, like the stripes will be bright fun colors and stuff like that. And I've just been like dying over this pair that has hot pink on it. And um, so I took them to the dressing room and guess what? I brought them home with me. And I wanted to share it with you because they are a 2X, they're a XXL. And um, I was flipping through the little tags that came that's on the pants and it gives you the size chart and um, I don't know if it's going to show up or not let's see dun 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 it's really bad glare XXL right here 18 it's a size 18 and they fit beautifully so um, they're dark gray and they have the adorable pink stripes. I'm freaking out. I'm so excited about this. So um, my first pair ever of women's track pants. And um, 
I told mom they were on the clearance rack. They're marked down to twenty four ninety seven, and then they were another twenty five percent off. I made them eighteen bucks, and um, I said to my mom, I said, "Well, you know, I have to get these." And she's like, "You can't buy those. You're not working. You can't buy those. You need to save your money." I'm like, "I don't care. I, this is something I have been waiting for for years and years and years that I've never been able to wear. Always wanted to have." I don't care. I'm going to spend the $18 and buy these pants. First of all, all of my track pants that I'm wearing are a size 3X. I have to tie them down very tight to keep them on me. So I said, you know, I go to the gym all the time. I work out hard. I work out a lot. This is something that I need for me to be able to keep running and working out. I need a pair of pants that fits right. So she said, fine. If you want them, I'm going to buy them for you because you don't need to spend your money. They're, like you said, they're only $18, so I want to buy them for you. And I, So we argued, of course, in the store for a while because I didn't want her to buy them for me. And um, she's like, well, this is an exciting moment. She's like, this is something I know you've wanted forever. You're buying regular clothes from a regular size, from a regular store for the first time. I want to buy them for you. So after much arguing... My mommy bought me my new Adidas pants. I'm so excited about my Adidas pants. I can't tell you guys. As soon as um, I got home, my husband got home, um, I said, I got to try these on for you. I have to show you because I'm so excited about them. So um, dark gray and hot pink. They're very cute. I love them. They. Um, I wanted the jacket that went with it. The jacket was the hot pink, and then it had the gray stripes, but they only had it in a large, and of course the large was too small, which was sad. I thought it was an extra large, which probably would have worked, but anyway, um, I'm, so, I'm just overjoyed. This is uh, such big things, really big things this week. I mean, a size 16 swimsuit and a size XXL athletic pant in a name brand um, from a normal department store. These are things that I literally um, couldn't see. If you had asked me, you know, even probably three months ago, do you think you're going to be able to, you know, ever fit into a size 16 swimsuit or into some uh, normal size track pants or anything like that? I would have laughed at you. I would have laughed at you. Um, it's amazing to me that these sizes that I've always dreamt of being are becoming a reality. Um, just ever so slowly, I'm chipping away at this, and ever so slowly, I'm getting more confidence in myself, and ever so slowly, I'm finding that I have control over this, and I can I can win this, and I can get smaller than I ever thought I could. I'm smaller now than I've ever been as an adult. This is really funny. Cleaning out my mom's basement, we found pictures from me in high school. Um, I played high school golf on the boys' golf team. I am smaller now than I was in those pictures. And we just looked at them. And we just both kind of just sat in awe because it was, like, unreal that um, – I think of like high school students as being these little like teeny boppers and whatever. And here I am. I'm now 31 years old and I'm smaller than I was in high school. It's, it's really an amazing feeling. So, um, it, so much to share with you guys that happens. See, this is why I make videos as much as I do. And I should have taken time to just make videos over the week, but whatever. Um, so I, I think I, I'm all caught up now. Um, I'm probably not going to do a video till Monday because whatever I've forgotten, I'll just add it on Monday's video. But um, anyway, I had to share all that. And um, I, I hope all of you are doing really well. Um, I've been trying to keep up on Facebook and everything. I have not watched videos in a while, um, so I will try to do that this week. Um, the job search is still going. There's been no change in that, no interviews, no nothing. Um it just continues and continues and continues. So uh, we'll see what happens. I am just keep praying that something comes along fast. I'm just going out of my mind being at home so much. So um, anyway, that's it. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend. And I'll check in with you Monday for my week 33 update. Um, love you guys. Mwah. Bye.